Welcome to Johnson Space Center. We've got main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, and ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Soyuz rocket. Shannon Walker, Fyodor Yurchikin, and Doug Wheelock begin their journey on the 100th launch on behalf of the International Space Station. Hi, I'm Amber Pinchback at Johnston Middle School. Today we are having an out of this world experience with astronauts in the International Space Station. Our students from Parker Elementary, Johnston Middle School, and West Ferry High School will be asking questions to Shannon Walker and Doug Wheelock. Ms. Walker, how does being in space uh, remind you of your childhood memories and dreams from looking up at the night sky? You know, that's a very good question. I think what it reminds me the most of is when I was growing up, I used to have dreams about being able to fly. I would be running along and then I would be running so fast that I could just take off and then fly around my neighborhood. And so being up in space reminds me of that because I do get to fly everywhere as opposed to walking around on the ground. My question is for Doug. Doug, what advice would you give young people today about the importance of pursuing science and the future of space exploration? Uh, the biggest advice I would give you if you are in the, interested in the science uh, field is to, um, is to just uh, don't be afraid of science. Uh, science is fun and uh, science and engineering and things like this are, are uh, about solving problems and, and uh, discovering new things and so, so sometimes that, that unknown of, uh, of an unsolved problem or, uh, or an unknown uh, discovery as of yet um, can cause uh, some anxiety and, and cause people not to study math and science. And so my encouragement to you would be to, to uh, develop that love for math and science and uh, pursue your dream, whether it's, uh, whether it's in uh, math, science, engineering. Um, we would love to have you come work uh, with us at NASA. Ms. Walker, what is it like to, what is it like to launch on the Soyuz rocket? It is absolutely fantastic. It, it, is, it is truly exciting when you, uh, when we're sitting there on the launch pad waiting to go, um, we're watching the clock count down to our launch time and then all of a sudden shortly before it launches you can hear all the valves and you can feel the valves moving in the rocket getting ready, getting the fuel go to, to the locations it needs to go, and then all of a sudden the engines light, and, and you feel this great force pushing you off the earth, and you're going faster and faster and faster, and a, you know, a very short eight and a half minutes later, you're in space, and it is just the most wonderful ride anybody can have. I want you to know, my question is personal, that your yearbook pictures from your middle school years are on display in the library right now. What is your reaction to that? <laughs> Man, that's some bad fashion we got going on now. That's my question for that. Uh, no, I think it's great. I think it's very exciting that Parker, Johnston, and Westbury are all, all come together because, as you know, those are the schools I attended in um, HISD before I went on to Rice University and then started working at NASA. So I think it's great, and I'm, we're really excited to be able to talk to you guys today. David, I'd like to see those pictures. <laughs> Doug, you're welcome at Johnston Middle School. Anytime, I'll keep them in a special place in my office. They'll be right there for you when you get to Houston. We're going to sign off from Houston, so for now, goodbye from... Thank you very much. Seven, six, go for main engine start, main engine start, two, one, booster ignition, and liftoff.